Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So I am going to do a quickie video on the latest NARS foundation. I will let you know that I have tried it three times now in three completely different ways and I am having mixed feelings about it. I'm going to be straight up with you about it. I love NARS as a brand and I love their foundation. The ones that they already have out I think are fantastic and I particularly like them when I'm putting them on other people. My favorite thing about all of their foundation is that I find that even though some Sometimes their colors can be limited which they are not in this new foundation they have many more colors than they've had in the past but even in the collections that are a little bit more limited I find that their tones are just so beautiful on brown skin particularly black skin and I really love that because I think it's very very difficult still for a lot of brown skin women to find a really good foundation so I've always loved NARS for that and I love them even more for putting out more shades you know from the the fairest to the deepest in their newest collection that being said, um, obviously I'm not going to purchase a foundation or repurchase the foundation unless I feel like it's really right for me. So I was really excited when this new one came out because it's really more of a full coverage foundation, whereas some of the other ones are, I mean, there's some, they, they can be full or medium to full or sheer to medium. You know, there's that whole, there's their whole range that NARS has. But this one to me is the one that really spoke to me because of the shade range and because it was supposed to be, you know, a full coverage foundation. Now, the first issue that I had with it is that I actually found that it moved on me when I put it on. So when I put the foundation on, like I would, I would put on, I actually put it on with a brush the first time, which is how I almost always put on stuff if I'm, or if I'm not using a beauty blender. Yeah, I usually use a brush and then sometimes a beauty blender. I used my favorite brush and I put it on. It looked beautiful. The color is absolutely beautiful. And by the way, the color I used was 3.5. So medium 3.5. And I love the color. It, I, I, I'm really happy with the way it looks. Again, NARS always wins for me on that. Um, but when I put it on, I found that like it was moving like while I was applying it. So it's like I would put it on here and it would move from here. And that is something that just doesn't happen with any of my top 10 foundations. Like they made it into my top 10 because they never do that. And, and that always surprises me and that always upsets me a little bit. Now, um, I will also say that I used the Marc Jacobs Coconut primer. It's a moisturizing primer because I use that with everything because I have dry skin and I just find that even if it's a hydrating foundation, I benefit from using the primer. So I thought maybe the primer and the NARS foundation together didn't do well and that's fine. So I did a second test um, because I wanted to be fair to the foundation because even if it isn't the right foundation for me, it still doesn't mean that it's not the right foundation for you. Not everybody has dry skin. Not everybody's using the Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer. Not everybody wants to use a brush. That's just the way I like to apply my makeup because I find that works for pretty much every other foundation I use. So the second time I did a little research, I read up on it and I remembered that, uh, I believe it's, I think maybe all of the NARS foundation, but this one in particular definitely said that it was best applied with hands and it even I felt like it even wanted you to like almost like warm it up with the heat of your hands. So when I went for the second round, I did two things differently. One, I did not use my brush. I used my hands. I warmed it up between my fingers before I applied it. And the other thing is I skipped my Marc Jacobs primer, which is a little bit painful for me, but I just went ahead and did it because I felt like, well, maybe if it's sliding with the primer, then maybe I really don't need it with this one. So it, it is, it does have like that glow factor to it or it's supposed to anyway. So I did it that way and I definitely found that it applied much better with my hands. And I didn't find that it was moving around while I was applying it. So that was a huge thing for me to, you know, I, I'm like most people, I don't want to read directions. I'll watch videos. I will watch other people's videos all day long, but I don't want to read the directions on makeup. It's like I've worn foundation for like years and I don't want to have to like read your directions. That being said, it was in my best interest to do it. So that's why I'm sharing that with you. So I think this foundation definitely benefits from being used with your hands, the, the warmth of your hand and just the application of your hand. Um, I didn't really feel that I needed the hydrating primer with this, which is huge for me because I always do. Um, I did moisturize. I always moisturize even before my hydrating primer. So I, I it's important for me to say that to you, but, um, yeah, it definitely applied better. It looked nicer. Um, 
it stayed longer, but I still found that at the end of the day, it did the same thing that it did day one, which is I felt like when I looked in the mirror, it looked fine to me. Um, but my friend did say that she could tell it was separating and that she thought my skin looked dry on the first day. The second day, I didn't really have anybody to give me feedback. I just went on my own and I felt like it looked okay. I, I mean, fine, actually looked nice, um, but it felt wrong both the first day and the second day. I felt like I could feel it separating. I was very aware of my makeup on my skin, both with the primer and without the primer, both with the brush application and with the hand application. And that's something that just never happens to me. Like I said, I have, you know, I have, a, I have favorites just like everybody else. And the thing that makes them my favorites is that not only do they not separate while I'm applying or move while I'm applying them, but they just, I just don't feel them throughout the day. And I was definitely more aware of this foundation than I have been any other foundation. And definitely at the end of the day, I could feel, especially like in this area right here. So, you know, er everything on my face is dry. I don't really have like an oily T-zone, but like this tends to be drier and this tends to be like, uh, like with most people, you know, it's a T-zone. So if I have any areas that tend to be less dry, it would probably be this sort of nose and mouth area. Um, that being said, I do get little dry bits on the side. So... I didn't see any dry patches, so that is a win for this new NARS foundation, but I could just feel it. It just felt like it was sliding and moving, and I, I fully expected to look in the mirror and see, like, you know, like just different patches and areas and skin coming through. So the one the one good thing is that when I looked in the mirror, I still liked the way it looked the second day. Um, but again, it just didn't feel right. So today is the third day. I've decided to give it one more go. And I sort of um, split the difference today in the sense that I did not use my primer again. I just went straight on. But this time I went in right after I did my moisturizing. So usually I take a shower, I moisturize, I wait a little while, and then I put my hydrating primer on right before I I put on makeup. So today it was applied shortly after I moisturized, so I still felt like really moist skin wise, but I didn't add the primer. I still use my hands, but this time I didn't go to that extra length of like warming it before my fingers. I just put it right on and actually put it on with my right hand and with my left hand, I just kind of like blended a little bit more so I could take off the excess. Because the one thing I noticed um, in all applications is that if you go a little too heavy, um, I feel like you start to see it and you start to notice it and it starts to sit on itself, which again is not something that I'm used to. Um, usually if I want to add more product, I find that most of the foundation that I use is very buildable. And this to me, it felt like you only needed to use so much. And there was a little note on, I want to say it was Sephora.com where I where I did my little reading up and research that said something about like, just apply the right amount of product, don't apply too much. So that's definitely something to keep in mind as well. Like I almost felt like I had to take some off with my left hand to make it work. I also heavily powdered today. And as a person with dry skin, I'm always told, basically, I feel like a lot of people are saying you shouldn't use powder if you have dry skin. I always use a very, very, very little bit of powder. Sometimes it's more of a powder that does a magic trick, like blurring your lines, and it just makes me feel like I have a little powder on. But more often than not, I will use either Kat Von D or Laura Mercier in just the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest little bit. And today I had to go in, I actually created a concoction where I put like all my powders together. It's La Mer, Kat Von D, um, Laura Mercier, and uh, the the Ben Nye banana powder. So I was just doing an experiment. I put all four of them together and I went in, uh, which for me is much heavier than what I would normally do. And that's what made it feel really comfortable. Now, the good news there is that I was actually able to do that because normally if I go in with that much powder, I go from having a beautiful finish on my foundation to it being a complete disaster. It was not a complete disaster. I love the way it looks. I love the way it feels. Um, it is moving around far less today. Um, I haven't have it, had it on like the full eight to 10 hours or 12 hours that I usually test a foundation. Um, it's been a few hours at least, but it definitely feels better with the heavy powdering. Um, and heavy powdering is something I can't normally do. So there's that. Um, so that being said, I think my big takeaway from this foundation is the colors are beautiful. I found a color that I really like. The 
the the application when it goes on it looks amazing except that a lot of the times it'll move on me while I'm applying it I do feel that I do need to use my hands which I personally hate using my hands I used to do it all the time no judgment there's nothing wrong with using your hands it's a perfectly good tool sometimes it's the best as it is in this case I just have moved on to using brushes and beauty blenders and I just really enjoy using those because I find that with most foundation it makes it look better and also just keeps your hands clean I don't have to wash my hands 10 times just because I'm applying my makeup um, so for me that's a negative but for most of you that would be a positive I think that not everybody is dying to um, go out and spend $30 on a good foundation brush or buy a beauty blender and spend $20 every three months. Like that's just not for everybody. So if that's you, you're going to be really happy with this foundation. Um, the biggest thing though for me though is as beautiful as I think it is on even on myself, I just don't see myself wanting to wear this foundation regularly. It feels like for me, it's a lot of work. Um, the fact that I can't use my pri my coconut primer, I mean, I guess it's a good thing that I don't need it with this foundation. So that's definitely a selling point. I think it's for me far more hydrating than any foundation that I've used with the exception of Josie um, Moran or Josie Marin, her um, argan oil one. Um, I don't use the primer with because it's literally straight up got oil in it. Um, but that being said, I think it's a beautiful foundation. I like the way it looks, but I just don't think it's for me. And I wonder if other people with dry skin are actually going to love it because you don't need a hydrating primer or if they're going to have the same issue I do where it just feels like it's just not setting up right. I think that's a me issue. I don't think that's a dry skin issue at all. I think that's just me and my particular skin. I would say that I would be very... Um, I would still use this on someone else if I was doing their face for them. And I would say that I would be more apt to use it on somebody with normal skin just because I'm not sure where I stand on the dry skin thing. I just know that for me, it just doesn't feel right. And I think with other dry skin people, they're going to be tending to their dry skin needs by using lotion or what have you. And so I'm, I'm just kind of on the fence about dry skin. But for normal skin, I have a feeling that this is going to be a really well loved foundation and I can't even begin to tell you what I think for oily skin because I think oily skin has its, its own set of issues and usually I could say oh well I feel like this one's really great for oily skin or or I think this one's good for dry skin but this one I'm really confused about this one so this is a first impression using it three times but not for me I definitely like it for people with normal skin and I definitely love the color range. So I really want this to work. Um, I really wanted it to work so badly, but I just don't see myself using this regularly for any amount of time. So anyhow, those were my honest, my brutally honest first impression of the newest NARS foundation. I still think it is worth checking out for any of you who have gotten your hands on a sample or or have just purchased. I think it's worth trying because like I said, I think NARS makes great foundations. I just, this one, I'm just confused by this one. I don't know. This, it's just the way it feels more than anything for me. And for me, feel is the absolute most important thing. Honestly, I would rather it look jacked after 12 hours and have it feel right than have it look amazing and just feel like really awkward about my face and feel like it's sliding around. So that's just me. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I definitely want to hear your thoughts because I know I am not the only person that ran out to try this new foundation. So please comment below. I want to know if it worked for you. I'm really excited for you because I really wanted it work to work for everybody. Um, cause like I said, they just have one, probably my favorite, um, color range of any of any brand um so if it worked for you i definitely want to hear from you if it didn't work for you please let me know and just bear in mind that the foundation has only been out for a minute so um i always feel like it's important to hear other people's thoughts but don't um don't discount an item just because it didn't work 
perfectly for somebody else. Always check stuff out on your own, but just keep those tips in mind. Like try using your hands. Um, try not to put too many things on underneath if you don't need to. And for me, heavily powder, heavily powder <laughs> was the key for today. So anyways, um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, but please subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me. And again, if you had any thoughts, please share them with me below. I will be talking to you again soon. I'll be sharing a lot more reviews on a lot more different foundations and different brands and different items and different everything. I have a slew of videos coming out and I have a bunch that I just put up. So check them all out. Have a great day and I look forward to spending time with you again soon. Take care.